Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these cute flowers. I provide a pattern and I make them with the Mayuki Delica beads. I know there are similar beads to those, you could also use them, but the main thing is that the beads should be like in a cylindric shape and really even and you could use Ico treasuries, I think uh, that's how they were called instead of delicas. So I'm showing uh, like in a beginner's level so I'm sure you will be able to make them. I'm using brick stitch, they could be also done with peyote stitch but here I'm showing with the brick stitch. I'm providing a pattern so if you want to do them nothing could stop you. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new projects usually twice a week and you will be able as well to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. If you don't want to listen this intro every time, you could skip it because I have timestamps on my videos. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of Mayuki Delica beads, size 11 all. They are black, yellow and red. You could use other colors of your choice. These are here earring findings in black color. This is Nemo Nylon thread, size D, which means the thickness is 0.2 millimeters. It is black and I'm using size 11 beading needle, but you could use size 12 or even 10 will be okay. I tried it with 10 as well. This is a pattern that I did, especially for this tutorial. You could use it for free and I have a special tutorial on how to make your own beading pattern and you will see it here at the eye icon. And I have also here scissors. And now I'm going to take about two and a half feet of thread on my needle, which is about 75 centimeters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and how I'm going to start my work? It's easy, I'm going to start it with this pattern and in my first step I have three black beads and I'll show you how I'm adding them and if you're not familiar with the stitch that I'm using here, which is brick stitch, don't worry, you will be able to do this because I'm showing really easy and step by step. Okay, I will remove this pattern but you will see it here at the eye icon as well. Okay, so I will take the first two of my three and now I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail because later I will put my needle on this tail and will finish my work from this side. Okay, I have two beads and as I'm exiting through the second, I'm going back through the first one. Just like this. And then what I do is that I go back again through the one that is here. Okay, so I have them stay next to each other with the hole pointing in this direction. You see, they are next to each other, not on top of each other, but next to each other. And I'm taking one more bead and I'm going back here like this. Okay, and then I will exit through it as well. And then what I want to do guys is reinforce those beads and make them stay in a nice shape. Okay, now I have the first three beads of my pattern. You see the pattern. And now I want to start the next row and in the next row I'm going to be showing you the basics of brick stitch. And here I'm making increasing brick stitch, what it means. It means that in the next row I have more beads than in the first row. And here I have four beads. If you don't see these two here, uh, they are yellow. 
Okay, so I have black, one yellow, second yellow, and again a black. Four beads, increasing brick stitch I'm showing now. Okay, so now I'm going to take a black and a yellow. Okay, and here you see I have thread bridges between my beads. And uh, I'm going to go under the first thread bridge of these two thread bridges that I have between the three beads okay and I'm going under this thread bridge and then I will go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work which in this case is yellow okay then if you remember here I have a yellow and a black again and what I'm going to do is take them one by one only at the first step I take two now I take them one by one okay I have this thread bridge here the next thread bridge the second one and I'm going through it and then I'm going back through the yellow bead then I'm going to take a black and I don't have any more thread bridges that is why I'm going to use the last thread bridge that I already have been through with the yellow one and I will go through it one more time and then back through the black one and uh, this is how I increase and I have four beads in my next row okay guys now it's a little bit tricky because here you see where the flower is I have one two three for five beads and again I increase here the brick stitch uh, but here I also have two from here and two from here that I will add separately so now I want to flip my work because it's easier for me to go in this direction and I'm here at this row and I will start first with this black and this yellow you see here are there are three yellows here if you don't see them on camera here on the paper they are uh, visible but on camera you might not be able to see them so they are three and I will take again a black and a yellow like I did in this row because I'm starting with always with two beads when I increase and when I decrease I always start with two beads and I will take a black and a yellow what I'm going to do is that I'm going under the first thread bridge here okay this is the first thread bridge and then again I'm going through the bead that is closer to the center of my work now guys what I did uh, in this row are this black and this yellow but here I have two more blacks and how I'm going to add them it's easy I'm going here through this black one and I will turn my work because it's easier for me always turn your work the way it's easier but the main point here is to add two new black beads and I'm adding the first one the same way like I did before and then I'm going back through the newly added one and I'm adding one more just like this okay then I will go through the last one and what I want to do guys is zigzag again and exit through this yellow so I will be able to continue with this row and I'm going through this black then through this black and in this way I'm reinforcing and repositioning two birds with one stone okay now I have this and here I need to add two more yellows. Sorry if you don't see them on camera, but here I'm sure you will see them. Okay, so I take yellow and I go under the next thread bridge. Then I take one more yellow and I go under the next thread bridge. Then what I want to uh, do is take a black one to make this edge around the yellows. Uh, but now I, I don't have any more 
thread bridges that is why I'm going through the last thread bridge that I already been through with the yellow and I go back when I increase I always add two beads at the last step at the last thread bridge okay so now what I have according to my pattern in this row are two more blacks and I'm going to add them the same way like I added those here okay taking one going back like this then go through the newly added one you see then take one more and go back here and one more time through this one and you could and if you want you could go and reinforce those beads one more time and now you should exit here at the black here you see now I want to flip my work it's not obligatory but it's easier for me and now I'm here at this row which is black two yellows black two yellows black two yellows and a black and I'm going to start with a black and a yellow and as you may see this row is wider than this one so I'm increasing and when I increase I take two beads in this case black and yellow and I go under the first thread bridge so I'm taking a black and a yellow and I'm going here under the first thread bridge okay and what should I do next is go through the yellow which is closer to the center of my work okay now I have this and now I need bl uh, yellow black two yellows black two yellows and a black and I'm going to add them faster here Okay, and here I am where I'm adding my last black bead at my last thread bridge. Okay, you see, and if you couldn't uh, do this so fast, just pause this video on this frame, add them here, yellow, black, two yellows, black, two yellows, black. And after you're ready, we will continue by making this. Okay, flipping my work. Now another expanding row. Uh, or increasing row I need a black and a yellow first and I will take them just to show you the beginning of this row a black and a yellow I will go under the first thread bridge here and I'm doing the same thing going through the yellow that is closer to the center of my work okay and then one by one I'm going to add yellow yellow three blacks yellow 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 a black and I'll show you the first of those yellows then guys pause on this video and continue from here on this is the bit that you should continue from yellow three blacks three yellows and a black okay I'll do this and I'll meet you here okay and now guys I'm here where I'm adding my last black under the last thread bridge okay now I have this and um, uh, if you haven't done this just pause again here if it's more clear and more visible and do this okay now I'm flipping my work and here you see where I am at this row where the red starts 
and this is a decreasion here as you may see and now I'm going to show you the decreasing brick stitch again I take a black and a yellow I always start with two beads here I have two yellows if you don't see them okay and I take a black and a yellow the first two beads and here the difference when I decrease is that I don't go through the first thread bridge between the black and the yellow but I go through the second thread bridge which is between this yellow and this yellow the second and the third bead of my work okay and I go under this thread bridge and then I do this and the familiar step of going through the bead that is closer to the center but there is another step you see how they don't sit straight and this is because they are stretching they are not through the first thread bridge but they are through the second and they are stretching that is why I should go one more time through them reinforce them and when I make this new thread pad they will go at the right place and then what I have in my work is a yellow and with this I'm finishing this flower surrounded by black beads and here I'm going to start uh, this red flower in the center and I'm going to take now black, red, red okay and i'm going to continue these black two yellows black okay guys and the other difference when i make decreasing brick stitch is that at the last thread bridge here i'm adding just one beat and not two like I did before now I would like to flip and again I will make a decreasing brick stitch here how I do this I start with two black beads and I'll show you again the process of decreasing I'm taking two black beads and I'm going under the second thread bridge between the second and the third beads then again I go here and do you remember what I told you before the beads are stretching so I need to go here through them to reinforce them okay now you see where I am I, I just started these two black beads and I will continue black three reds and three blacks adding them one by one okay and I'll meet you here at the end okay and here I'm adding my last black bead and as you may see I'm not adding at the last thread bridge any more beads so I'm going to flip so if you like how it forms to here just like the video and share it and i'm thanking you so much for these actions okay now i'm here at this row and i need a black two yellows black two reds black two yellows and a black okay you could pause it you could watch it here whatever you prefer but now as you may see i increase so now i will show you the first step a black and a yellow and if you remember the increasing brick stitch is you do this just by going through the first thread bridge between the first and the second black beads then you go back here through this yellow and the next one is again a yellow And now you repeat this part so you could watch from this part or you could pause the pattern 
and now you need black two reds black two yellows and a black and i'll let you do this by yourself and i'll be back okay guys and this is what i have pause and do this okay now i'm flipping and if you're up to here i'm sure you will be able to make by yourself this row which is increasing and it consists of black three yellows three blacks three yellows and a black it's absolutely the same like this row here and i'll do this off camera and i'll be back okay and i'm here guys and i just added the sequence of beads that i told you if you couldn't take it just pause do this and meet me okay now i'm going like this you see and now guys it's time to decrease in case you forgot how i'm doing decreasing brick stitch i will show you the first step it consists of black and a yellow and i'm going to take a black and a yellow and then i'm going not through the first but through the second thread bridge between the second and the third bead of my row i'm going back again through this bit that is closer to the center of my work and in order to straighten up those beads i go one more time through them making a new thread path okay now it's all the same i did just black and yellow and now i'm going to do yellow black two yellows black two yellows and a black pause do this and meet me okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last black bead from this row okay now i'm going to flip and now what i do is a row which is decreasing which consists of three blacks three yellows and three blacks and i'm going to take the first and the second black just to show you again how i start i go under the second thread bridge i reinforce after that then i take one more black and one by one i will continue with three yellows and three blacks and i'll be back okay and here i am where i'm adding my last black at the last thread bridge and i would like to flip and now guys this is a place where I should uh, show you what I do because it's a little bit tricky okay I want to exit out of this third black bead and I am exiting out of the last black bead why from the third because from here on I start adding another row and here I don't have anything so what I do is that I go through the next black and then one more time through the following black just zigzagging and from here on guys i just have regular decreasing brick stitch and a row of four beads this is the same like uh, here and it consists of black two yellows and a black and i will start with a black and a yellow and this is a decreasing brick stitch that is why i take a black and a yellow and i go under the second thread bridge of where i'm exiting so this is the first and this is the second counting from the place where i'm exiting okay then i go one more time through those beads then i'm gonna be adding one more yellow and one more black okay 
okay flipping again and again I have a decreasing brick stitch you see the line how it's going so it means it's decreasing and it consists of three black beads I have first the two I go through the second thread bridge of those three thread bridges that I have here okay I go here and I reinforce and here what is left is to add the last bead from this row the third one and then I want to reposition my thread up to here okay guys so now what i'm going to do is to add my earring finding and how i do this i take one red bead i take my earring finding like this and then i take one more black uh sorry red bead and now i'm going through the black and i'm pulling And now I have this and what I want to do is reinforce Okay guys, and you could reinforce force this joint several times. When you're ready, you go through some beads in this direction and you could make a small knot. Or you could skip the knot and just zigzag through the beads. Now I will show this knot. I'm going through the loop once because I want to hide it better. And now I will be just zigzagging through my beads to make my thread height and to make my work secure and when I feel I was zigzagging enough I will cut as close as possible to my work now guys I'm going to take my needle I'm going to put it here at this side, at this thread, and I will zigzag again and I will cut this thread the same way I showed you. Okay guys, and now my Mayuki Delica beads earrings done with the brick stitch in a flower shape are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when i make new projects and matching projects to the one that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks swear by the way you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see your creations mainly on facebook and instagram thank you so much for watching uh, by the way you could check my second channel with the fast clips thank you for watching bye bye from me